Now we're here today at Macquarie Metro again, and we're here to preach the gospel. We're here to get people safe in the hand of Jesus. And people really don't understand what that means. A lot of people are not even thinking about their eternal life. They're so consumed with this life, this temporary life, thinking about things, looking at their phones, checking, checking YouTube, checking TikTok, looking up things on Google, getting an education off the internet. Isn't it wonderful? The internet can be wonderful, it can spread the gospel, it can also be very detrimental. A lot of information out there that's not true. A lot of people feeding their hearts on it, getting their hearts full of it. So they have their own truth and in the end they can't even recognize the truth. They see Jesus and they think that's some story, story book out of the Bible. It's so much more than that, but people don't realize. So what we're here for today is to get people's eternal life in place. And what I mean by in place is that you will spend it with Jesus Christ, with God the Father, with the Holy Spirit of the living God, with the angels in heaven, and with all the other believers, people who believe that Jesus Christ is their Saviour. That's where you'll spend it. The alternative to that is something far worse. And the Bible speaks about hell. It's Heaven and hell are real places. And people, you have that choice. You won't always have that choice. You pass from this earth, your choice is gone. This is the time to make your decision about where you're going to spend your eternity. There's no point in leaving it until you've passed from this earth and you're standing at the great white throne of judgment looking straight into the eyes of your creator. It's too late then. That's not the time to start thinking about it now. Now is the day of your salvation. And I'm putting urgency on it for people because it's important. Come and get your heart right with him. Come and pray, get your heart right with Jesus. People wonder what I'm saying. When I say it to them, they look at me like I'm quite odd. But let me tell you, you will thank me when you get your heart right with Jesus. You will thank me every day of your life that you know Jesus. You'll say, I'm so glad I came up to mic with the mic and got my heart right with Jesus. That's what it's all about, people. It's about eternal security. Once saved, always saved. Now, there is a controversial statement, and I made it particularly today because we need to talk about once saved, always saved. So many people have different ideas on that. I'm not sure where they get it from because the Bible's very clear. But a lot of institutions, a lot of traditional church, a lot of individuals, for some reason or other, and I think it's a little bit strange, I believe it's a control issue. I believe they want to control people's lives and they do it through fear and they do it through consequences and they do it through manipulation. They want you to be a good person, good enough to get to heaven. That's what they preach. Good enough to get to heaven. If you're not good enough, we'll give you the way. Come back to us. You can confess your sins. We'll tell you that it's okay. You can have a second chance in purgatory or you can pray to a saint or you can do something else. You can go to the priest. He'll forgive your sins. You've got to be really careful, people, because the tradition of man is not the scripture. The tradition of man is exactly that. What man has dreamt up for their own reasons, their own fulfillment, their own pride, whatever it is. But think about this. Once you are saved, you are saved. It didn't say it's a temporary thing. Jesus didn't say, come to me and I will give you temporary life. He said, I'll give you eternal life. Hello. <laughs> How are you? You're going to stop and have a talk? Did we pray already, did we? We were at the market. Oh, right. Yes. I know who you are now. You're with your dad, right? Yes. Yeah, I remember now. God yeah. bless you. Hey, that was really good. That was really yes. good. And, you know, the reconciliation is such a wonderful thing. Because, um, yeah, praise, praise God. God. I thought I recognised, you see, out here on the street, yep, yeah, that's my wife. <laughs> 
Oh. Out, out here in the street, we came out eight months ago, just she and I, and over, in that time, over 4,000 people have given their heart to Christ. Isn't that beautiful? That's the Holy Spirit. So when I see people's face, even though I recognise her, I thought, is she one of the people who've given their heart to Christ, Eddie? I don't know anymore. I can't keep up with it. So, but anyway, that's so good. Say, hey, good to see you. God bless you. Thank you for pulling up and saying good day. Hey, listen, I grab my YouTube channel first. Would you do that? Yep. You help me well, help help me spread this, um, yeah. But you can just take a picture and it'll it'll take you straight to the link. And see see how it works. If it doesn't work, yeah. all right. But it's Mike with the Mike M I C and a number five after it. If you share that with other people, they can hear the gospel, and they can give their heart to Christ. And one day in heaven, they'll come up to you and they'll say, you shared that link with me. I got saved. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's it. All right. Good on you. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Okay. Hallelujah. All right. So what we were saying, we were saying once saved, always saved. Now, look, Jesus did not say, come to me and I will give you temporary life. Come to me. You're in, you're in death at the moment but I haven't given you anything else. I haven't passed you anywhere else. He didn't say that. He, Jesus himself said very clearly, believe on me and I will give you eternal life. The Father will give you eternal life. You will pass from death to life. So how do you ever reverse that one? When Jesus himself said it, it just doesn't happen. And there's so many scriptures in the Bible that speak about eternal security Jesus said the father there are people in the father's hand he makes you safe and he said the father has given them to me and now they're safe in my hand nobody not even yourself will ever pluck you out but we're talking about eternal security today so why do people want to compete with Jesus Christ as Savior that's I think the bottom line they say I've got to do something good. It's a human pride thing. And it says, I've got to do something good. I've got to contribute to my salvation. And why is that? You think about this. Oh, look, I'm better than that person. I, I was able to be good. I was able to earn my salvation. I was able to get there because I did all these good works. The Bible is very clear that salvation is by grace, the grace of God, he gives you faith, God bless you man, he gives you faith to believe. And faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Not by any other means, nothing we've dreamt up ourselves. It's by the word of God, that's where the power is. That's why we come out and why we're preaching at the moment. We're preaching the word of God, and people hear it, and as you hear it, faith rises in your heart, and people give their life to Christ, and receive the new life of Jesus Christ into their heart. They are never the same again. It can never be taken away. It is permanent because, you know what? Jesus also said, and Paul said, by inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that when you receive Jesus Christ as your Saviour, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise. Think about that. You think God just makes these statements willy-nilly? Sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise. What a wonderful thing. God and his word, he cannot lie. He cannot break his word. His word will remain when heaven and earth has passed away. His word will remain. And if he says you are saved, if he says you have eternal salvation, who are we to argue with God, the God of this universe? That's the pride of man. The pride of man says, oh no, 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 my church told me that um, I have to do good works. If I don't obey Jesus, I'm going to hell. There's all this sort of stuff going on. Where they get it from, I don't know. But people want to control. They want to manipulate. They want to try and compete with God. They want to try and change the scriptures. They want to manipulate the scriptures. They want to form a God that suits them. This is what happens, people, when you're in error, when you're in sin, you try and form a God who will agree with you. This is what happens with people. So we're here today to tell you, 
without a shadow of a doubt, once saved, always saved. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. He's done it, all the work, once for all. We cannot contribute to our salvation. It is a free gift. You can only receive it. It is a gift. It is not something you can buy. It is not something that you can add to or change or take away from or do anything with, but receive it. And the word of God is very clear. Romans 10, 9 to 13. And it says, that if you believe in your heart on the Lord Jesus and you confess with your mouth that he rose from the dead, you will be saved. And then you call upon the Lord. That's what needs to happen. And today, we're out here so people can hear the word of God, faith can rise in their heart, they can call upon the Lord to be saved. Very important. We care so much for people. Don't even know people. There are people walking past all the time, by the hundreds, that we have never, ever set sight on, never, ever seen, never, ever spoken to. But God loves them so much. And we care for people. We care enough. We're not asking anybody for anything. Not even a drink of water on a hot day or a cup of coffee on a cool day. We're not asking for any of that. <laughs> We're only wanting you to be safe in the hand of Jesus. And you know what? There's been a lot of fruit. God is at work out here on the street. He's at work out here on the street. God bless you. He loves people. He loves people in cars with their windows down because I can preach the gospel to them. I can tell them the good news of Jesus Christ and they can give me a thumbs up. That's the way. I love that. That's beautiful. God loves you. Ask him into your heart. When you get your head on your pillow tonight, ask him into your heart, all right? You know what he says? Unless you're born of his spirit, you cannot enter heaven. Get it right, man. Get it right. Jesus has done it all. Yeah, I know, but that won't get you there. Hallelujah. All right. So here we go. Hello. Thumbs up. Good girl. Thank you so much for that. Come pray. Yep. All right. Good girl. Hey, listen, this is so important. I've got to pray, guys. Okay. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. This is important. Listen. You know what happens here? Yeah, come in. Come in. All right. Listen. Okay. Hey, listen, girls. This is really important, right? Jesus said these words. He said, unless you're born of my spirit, you cannot enter heaven. That's what he wants to do for you guys today. Free gift. You cannot earn it. You cannot buy it. You can only receive it like a present, you know? Yes. And God wants this for you today. And he knew you'd be here. He knew I would be here. And you've pulled up. That's beautiful. I love it when people do that. You know what that is? That's God guiding you to come here and get your heart safe. Now, why is it so important? I'm going to go really quickly. Look at Bondi Junction the other day. Yeah. Those people just went shopping. Listen, they just went shopping and, and they never, ever came home, right? And the only reason I say that is life is temporary. Life is short. You've got to know where you're going to head. Jesus Christ made it absolutely 100% certain that you will be safe in his hand, okay? So, all right, let's pray. I'm going to go quickly, all right? So, you under anybody Christians? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're Christians? Yeah? yeah? Sort of, okay. So you know Jesus Christ died on the cross, right? Yeah. Okay, so what he said was, he took all the sin off your life. Oh, hey, listen. Go, no, no, train. listen, listen. There's always another train in two minutes. This is so important. No, no, no. no, no. Pray with me, quick. Don't, don't miss out. All right, you bow your head. You say, Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus into my heart. Come in and wash away all my sin. Give me your righteousness. I believe you died for me. And that you rose from the dead. I receive your new life. And according to your word, I am born of your spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Oh, no.